above classes, okay? Um, if there's any of these tricks that you don't feel comfortable doing by yourself, make sure you have a parent or an adult there to watch you and help you. Um, if there's not someone there to help you, make sure you don't do anything you're not comfortable with, okay? Okay, so we're going to just start with our stretching. Wrists are going to go back. Each of these stretches you'll hold about 30 to 60 depends on how it feels for your body, if you feel like you need to hold it um, less time because it's hurting, you can hold it less, but don't hold anything over 60 seconds, okay, and then we'll flip our wrists onto the top, again, 30 to 60 seconds, and then you're going to crisscross like a Hershey's Kiss, and then we're going to go into a shoulder stretch. With our shoulder stretch, we want those arms pinched together as close as we can in the back. Legs laid out straight, ankles connected, and then you scoot that bum as far away as you can. Um, if you're not as flexible as our dear friend Jason here, and you can only go to right here, that's okay. Don't push yourself too far. We're stretching out these muscles up here, and if it is too uncomfortable to slide as far as Jason can, make sure that you don't go past where you're comfortable. Okay, after that you are going to do baby bridge, yeah, lift those hips up to the sky, feet are flat, hands are down there, bum, again, 30 to 60 seconds, good, right here we're going to push straight, or we're going to go down and then we're going to push to a full bridge, yep, we push into that full bridge, making sure our body is nice and stacked, our knees are not going over our toes, we should be right in line with those ankles, and then same thing with our shoulders, wrists and elbows. Okay, from here, there you go. From here, if you are a more advanced break or more advanced in bridges, you're going to drop to your elbows. And when you're here, you want to make sure you're pushed and nice and stacked right here. Everything's nice and in line. Pull that head up. You have to finish the curve of that spine. Good. And then to get out of this, you can either stand or you can kick out. Good. Gain some blood flow. <laughs> Good. Okay, then we are going to do our cobra stretch. Yep, so we'll go to cobra. There we go. And then you're going to drop that head back. So you're making sure you're finishing the nice curve of your spine. After you've held this for 30 to 60 seconds, toes are going to come up to your nose. If you can reach your toes to your nose, you want to try to reach your toes to your shoulders next. Okay. Again, 30 to 60 seconds. Make sure you're breathing. And then you'll come out. And you're going to pull to a jellyfish. You're going to grab those ankles and pull straight up in the air. Making sure you're nice and balanced between your ribcage and your pelvis. And then come down. And you're going to do five rocket rolls. I would do five rock and rolls in between each um, back stretch so that you're loosening back up that spine and allowing it to kind of relax and resettle. Good. Okay, then for this class, I, for our older ages, we like to do uh, a pike stretch. So we'll lay down front. And you're just gonna reach up nice and tall and then reach over with pointed toes. Again, 30 to 60 seconds, you'll sit back up. You'll flex just like in dance class and reach over. Yeah. And then you come up, and then we like to do our straddle stretch. So you'll face straddle. You want to reach up and over this way. Good. Make sure those toes stay, stay nice and turned out and your hips stay squared to the front. And then you'll come up, you'll rotate, and those knee. 30 to 60 seconds. And then you'll repeat that on the other side. Okay. From there, what we like to do is um, splits. Okay. So for kids who are not as flexible and are starting to learn their splits, we're going to start with pre-split. So when you do pre-split, let's start with our right leg. You're going to start with your hands on your hips to make sure that your hips stay square. You're going to bring that right leg out and nice straight in front of you. Okay. From here, you want to make sure your back leg is right in line and your front leg is extended forward. From here, you're just going to start sliding this leg out. Okay, making sure, yep, bring those hands down, making sure that those hips stay nice and square. Okay, if you're not
not as flexible and you're struggling keeping your hips square as you slide down, only go to where your hips stay square. Okay, you'll hold here. I'll have you lay down over that leg. Good, and then you'll arch back. And then if you're really advancing your split, you're gonna try to touch that leg. You're gonna bend that back knee up and try to touch it to your head. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Good. Okay, and you'll repeat that on the left side. And then we'll do centers. So go to that center split. Okay, you'll hold that center split 30 to 60 seconds. From here, you'll bring your legs back into a frog stretch. Do you see you actually turn the side so they can see? Yep. You'll bring those legs back into a frog stretch, making sure that those hips are down. Are down. You don't want these hip bones off the ground. You want them nice and into the ground. Okay? If, again, if you're more advanced, now you're going to push your body up into a cobra position while leading your legs in the frog stretch. Okay, again, don't lift those hips off the ground. You want them to stay there. Okay. Good. Go ahead and come out and shake it out. Okay, and that's your stretching portion. Now we're going to um, go into our chin rolls. Okay, so chin rolls, you're starting on your knees and you roll in. So straight up. And you're going to stop straight up on top. Yep, see how her arms are back by her side? And she's stacked right there, almost with her head above her, or her bum above her head. And then she'll just pick down. Okay, do one more. And I won't stop you this time. She rolls in. And then she pick up. Good. And those are your chain rolls. Then you're going to do a forearm stand. Let's move a stack. When you do your forearm, you want to arch that head and can continue that curve of the spine, and then you're going to stab your legs, bending the top leg and the bottom leg, and then same thing as before, you'll just kick out. Okay, do one more without me. Good, arch that head, arch it, arch it. There you go. Good, and out. Good. Okay, last one we'll do is our teddy bear. Our teddy bear headstand. Yep. Pinch those together nice and tight and squeeze, point those toes, and you just balance right there. This one I would only do for 10 to 15 seconds just because you are upside down. Okay, go ahead and come down. Good. Okay, we're getting some blood flow. All right, now let's tumble. Okay, you want to make sure your body's nice and warm, so you'll obviously warm up with those tuck jumps. Good. You'll do your L So now 